Okay, this next module is part 134, and it's line 18A, 3W. Just so you know, 3W has been broken down into five more videos. So it's going to go W2, 3, 4, 5, okay? And I'll be showing you those and uploading them. But just so you know, all the material that came up for this line was too, there was too much. So I broke it down into five um, different videos. So line 18A, 3W, thermal equilibrium, neutrons, Maxwell, Boltzmann distribution, UFO, 5G, Wow City. Again, when you see the UFO, 5G, that tells you that there is a formula for the 5G force in that video. Um, I might not remember to do them all. Again, I'll be blogging the formulas on my website, the new one that I've developed. Um, I'll probably put it as a link in the videos so you guys can refer to that. I had the Kepler 22B uh, one on there, but it was basically about Kepler 22 and all the information from SETI. Um, this new website that I've created is going to just basically tell you the story of the WOW SETI signal, how, how I started working on it, and uh, whatever I find that's interest of interest in it um, in relation to this to the formulas okay so I wanted to like compose an area to so you can go there and check out the formulas and try them out yourselves so there's this, the well signal and moderation neutrons are normally bound into atomic nucleus and do not exist free for long in nature kinetic energy E can be related to temperature these are just keywords that came up so I pulled it out from the data I didn't want to read a whole bunch of stuff. I'm getting tired from doing that. So I'm just trying to pull out key words, key thoughts, okay? So moderation is the process of the reduction of the initial high kinetic energy of the free neutron. Since energy is conserved, this reduction of the neutron kinetic energy takes place by transfer of energy to a material known as a moderator. It is also known as neutron slowing down since along with the reduction of energy comes a reduction in speed. Such a collision is inelastic since some of the kinetic energy is transformed to potential energy. So we want to be able to transform the energy and create more energy with it, especially when you're up flying around in space. You have very limited resources. It's not like you can go and grab some more. So you want to create a, a product or something that can actually um, double or triple or quadruple itself while it's working. So it, it builds longevity as well as speed, right? So such a collision is inelastic since some of the kinetic energy is transformed to potential energy by exciting some of the internal degrees of freedom. Exciting means to, like, um, speed it up. Of the nucleus to form an excited state. So when they speed up a particle into an excited state, it goes faster and that creates a higher rate of energy, a higher rate of speed. As the energy of the neutron is lowered, the collision becomes predominantly elastic. Given the mathematics of elastic collisions, a new, as neutrons are very light compared to most nuclei, the most effective way of removing kinetic energy from the neutron is by choosing a moderating nucleus that has a near identical mass. Again, that's from Wiki from the neutron moderator. So February 17, 2012, 11.40 a.m., my thoughts. Key words, kinetic energy, temperature, moderation, neutron are in this section. They appear in lots of other well study lines as well. Same with the word in an inelastic and excited state. Again, we're looking at ways to cool the neutrinos and then convert them into energy so that we can use that formula to travel faster than the speed of light and reach the goal of 5G force for the UFO engine acceleration speed. Another thing now that I know it takes so much fuel for them to rocket up into outer space, I'm going to look at ways to conserve that energy requirement and find test results that can be used to lengthen the duration of burning time of the said fuels or create new green energy that burns cleaner, slower, and lasts much longer. So. In a system at thermal equilibrium, neutrons, the, the red ones, are elastically scattered by a hypothetical moderator of free hydrogen nuclei blue, undergoing thermally active motion. 
I guess this is a, a hypothetical situation. I don't know if they've actually created this or not, if it's just saying that they think it will, and that's why they're saying it's hypothetical. Kinetic energy is transferred between particles. So again, that's, these are just key words, key thoughts that I pulled out. So I'm looking at kinetic energy because it is part of the equation. Um, the well steady lines, kinetic energy is, is talked about so much. It's, it's like I didn't know what it was at the beginning, and now I'm beginning to see how important it is. And the next thought is, as the neutrons have essentially the same mass, as protons and there is no absorption the velocity distributions of both particles types would be well described by a single Maxwell Boltzmann distribution so that's a key thought there so kinetic energy is transferred between particles February 17 2012 my thoughts this phrase is standing out here if we can create kinetic energy with the neutrinos then we can transfer that faster than the speed of light energy field into another particle. So what particle does the neutrino like? A muon? Let me see if possible. Yes it is and it also mentions leptons. Another, when I say that it's because I went and googled it and found the information and I just checked to see if it, if it would work or not. Another main key word in the well steady lines of data. I've split this module into part two actually part five if you want to know the truth I only had two at the beginning and it's just five parts now five different parts with five different formulas for each component each thing has its own formula so there's a lot of formulas for each little section of, of what we need because I found out that we can do things with the neutrinos plus a muon plus split plus energy equals acceleration plasma for a UFO engine Watch this next video to see what I've come up with for another formula idea to get 5G force acceleration speed. Line 18A3W2. Deuterium. I remember this keyword and it's found on line 18A3W. Okay, line 18A3Z2 to be titled. It's also found there. Deuterium means something with uranium 238, so I've split that module into its own because I have another formula idea coming up. See line 18A3W3. Quote, distribution of neutron velocities once moderated after sufficient impacts. The speed of the neutron will be comparable to the speed of the nuclei given by thermal motion. This neutron is then called a thermal neutron and the process may also be termed thermalization. Once at equilibrium, at a given temperature, the distribution of speeds, energies expected of rigid spheres scattering elastically is given by a Maxwell Boltzmann distribution. This is only slightly modified in a real moderator due to the speed energy dependence of the absorption cross section of most materials. So that the low speed neutrons are prefer preferentially absorbed, so that the true neutron velocity distribution is in the core would be slightly hotter than predicted. Again, that's on a neutron moderator on Wiki. My thoughts, February 17, 2012. I'm searching the keywords thermal plus neutron. A set of keywords I've come across in the well study data. Thermal plus neutron shows up in. Um, this is a video that hasn't been filmed yet. It's going to be called Go to the Light. Not yet filmed or numbered. And then it's also appearing in line 15A. 20 line these are the different line numbers 15a 22 18u 18fy 18j 18m 18a3m 18a3r 18a3w 18a3x and 18a3y when i do a cross reference i'll look to see if there's formulas in these videos it will probably mean to mix them together if there is now i also googled maxwell boltzmann distribution to find out what that was and this is the Maxwell Boltzmann distribution describes particle speeds and gases, which is good because I'm talking about building a speed of neutrinos in a gas. So where the part particles do not constantly interact with each other but move freely between short collisions. So neutrino, um, the neutrinos don't interact with each other, um, but supposedly they do something when they are when they have a, a pulse of laser beam energy and, and you create a collision then they do stuff so it's that's why I wrote that or I didn't write that that's why I put that there 
Okay, so where the particle does not constantly interact with each other, but moves freely between short collisions. It describes the probability of a particle's speed. So it's a probability, so I don't think they've actually... This is the Wikipedia thing, so I don't think anybody's updated it yet, because we already know some of the particle speed. But I know there's some particles you guys still don't know the speeds of. So the magnitude of its velocity vector being near a given value, as a function of the temperature of the system, the mass of the particle, and the speed value. The probabil this probability, bleh, probability distribution is named after James Clerk Maxwell and Ludwig Boltzmann. Here's James Clerk Maxwell, and this is Ludwig Boltzmann. And they were very old people uh, from the 1900s. I don't think they or 1800s actually. I think they lived quite a. They died quite a while ago. Let's put it that way. <laughs> They're no longer living. Okay, the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution is usually thought of as the distribution for molecular speeds. But it can also refer to the distribution for velocities, momenta, and magnitude of the momenta of the molecules, each of which will have a different probability distribution function, all of which are related. Unless otherwise stated, this article will use Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution to refer to the distribution of speed. So basically, um, when you calculate the speeds of the different formulas that I give you, you'll be using the Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution figures to um, come up with what. So then I also came up with Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution gases colliding diagram. Shows how they collide. And then this also came up. This is a brand new um, it's not brand new, but it's something that can be used, okay? So you want to look at the decay of heavy margarina neutrinos using the full Boltzmann equation, including its implications for leptogenesis. This is from Anders Basbol and Steen Hennestad, and they posted this in 2006 in the Journal of Cosmology and Astroparticle Physics. And I found this during my Google search. So your your data came up with the well study line of <clears throat> signal data, which means it's very important, and it has something to do with this UFO engine. So abstract, we have studied the two-body production and decay of a heavy right-handed neutrino to two light states using the full Boltzmann equation instead of the usual integrated Boltzmann equation, which assumes kinetic equilibrium of all species. Decays and inverse decays are inefficient for thermalizing. The distribution function of the heavy neutrino and some parameters ranges. There can be very large deviations from kinetic equilibrium. This leads to substantial numerical differences between the two approaches. Furthermore, we study the impact of this difference on the lepton asymmetry, asymmetry production during leptogenesis and find that in the strong washout regime, the final asymmetry is changed by 15 to 30 percent when the full Boltzmann equation is used. And their website's at www.mendeley.com. Research DK heavy margarine neutrinos. Okay, so I'll Google leptogenesis to find out what it was. In physical cosmolo cosmology, leptogenesis is the generic term for hypothetical. So here we have the keyword hypothetical, which means it's just a thought. Physical processes that produce an asymmetry between leptons and antileptons in the very early universe, resulting in the dominance of leptons over antileptons. The analogous me mechanism for baryons is called baryogenesis. And that's, here's my tags here, way over yonder here for this video. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of tags. Eh? See that? Loads. Okay. So then I'll go into the tags with the blog post, okay? So that's the end of that video. And we'll go on to the next one. I'm on my last bar of power, though, okay?